Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports, and this is a verse in two packs. This is where I read a verse out of the Bible or uh, the uh, Daily Bread or the Billy Graham book I have. Talk about it a few minutes and then open up a couple of packs of cards or a mail day, which lately I've been doing a mail day on a huge box from Diamond Princess, <laughs> trying to sort all that out till I get home. Then I can really sort it out. But. All right, let me just say a little prayer and then we'll get started. While I cook my dinner. <laughs> I love Chinese food. I have it a couple times a week. Uh, Lord, thank you for a wonderful week so far. I pray, Lord, that you forgive me for my sins. Bless my heart. Bless my mind. Just work through me and, and live through me every day, day by day. Everybody understand what I'm talking about when you work through me. Amen. All right. This is called a fresh start. I got some lights over here. I've been, I'm going to put in here. I got four of these. I'll put them up and around the edges here. I got a remote with them. Kind of cool. Kind of give it a little uppity look. I like the green right now kind of the aqua color of my dolphins there. Well, uh, here we go. Fresh start. Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's true. John 3.3. 3. Y'all remember on what I read on Tuesday. If you're going to be saved, and when you do start out reading the Bible, read John first, then Matthew, about four books there in gospel and then read the whole New Testament straight through. If I could come and have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with you in your living room, you perhaps would turn to me and confess. I am confused. I have transgressed God's laws. I have lived contrary to His commandments. I thought I could get along without God's help. I have tried to make up my own rules and I've failed. The bitter lessons that I've learned have come through suffering and tragic experience. What wouldn't I give to be born again? What wouldn't I give to be able to go back and start all over? What a different road I'd travel if I could. If those words strike a familiar chord in your heart, I want to tell you some glorious news. Jesus said, you can be born anew. You can have the fresh and better start for which you've prayed. You can lose your despised and sinful self and step forth a new person, a clean and peaceful being from whom sin has been washed away. Wow. What is, this is the question of the day. I'd like for y'all to leave a comment in the comment section on this question. I really do. I love reading them. I love getting advice on it and stuff. Hearing what y'all think and what I say. What is one of the God's mercies that you are grateful for today? What are one of God's mercies that you are grateful for today? I say my salvation. I say my salvation. Through God's grace and mercy, I'm saved. And I ain't on track on drinking and drugging again. Um, he saved my life. Um, I've been saved since 95. I slipped for a while, but I got back on track and staying on track because I see how much better my life is having God in my life, having that Holy Spirit to guide me throughout the day. I talk to, like I said, I probably talk to God more than anybody. I not, don't know for a fact, but I can be driving. After I say my morning prayers, and then I get up in that seat, I'll say a few more special prayers that I say every morning. And then I just talk all day long. Not on the phone, not over the CB, I just talk, you know, I, I portray it toward God, you know, so, uh, 
a lot of his help is because I do talk to him throughout the day. I keep him in my heart and in my mind. Not everybody can do that. You're around other folks. When you're around other people, it's hard to constantly talk to God, but you can talk about him. You don't have to push in on people, but you can still act godlike. That's what I do. You know? I act godlike. I, I try. I may I do screw up. I do cuss. Uh, and I get angry and I act out when I shouldn't. But I realize what I've done. I ask for forgiveness. I also uh, ask God to take bless my heart and bless my mind. If I bless my mind, which I know he will, he'll give me the smarts to act a certain way more godlike. And that's that's the way I want to be. Uh, that's the way I'm going to stay. Of course, I want to act that way if Landon sees me uh, acting that way and listening and studying about God. We have him say grace before he eats. And before he goes to bed, he says his prayers. He says them, not us. He knows how to say grace it, the way we've taught him. So everybody has their own ways of praying when they before they eat. And uh, he's learned that, and he's very smart at that. I've had issues with my job lately. Uh, they're barely hanging on. As long as I get paid and God... I step out of the way and let God take over. Everything's going to be fine. But it says, What is one of God's mercies that you're grateful for today? Y'all leave a comment. I want to hear what y'all say about today. About His mercies. One, one of His mercies for today that is in your heart. That, you know, what is one of God's mercies that you're grateful for? Tell me what you're grateful for of God's mercies today. I really appreciate it. All right. So we're looking at John 3.3. 3. Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. Let me get these hits here. I separated some yesterday. Oh. Just so I could show today. I got, you know, base and all that, but I don't, I've separated that. I'm, I'm grateful for God to have food on my truck, clothes, cards that I enjoy. I got in a break. I hadn't been in a break in a while. I got the friend's break. He's the way to go with classics, and this is a Stephen Kwan classic, but the, the break I got in is football. Stephen Kwan, rookie, these are gonna sell pretty good. These are all good hits. Ronald Acuna Jr. I'll be able to sell all these cards. They're either entwined them in some of the packs I'm gonna sell. Mystery packs or box sale that I'm gonna have. Will it be box that Adrian sent me? I'm gonna fold them up, fill them full of cards, sell them for $20, $25. It's got to be better than anybody else out there, and they're going to be full of hits. Uh, we got Threads, O'Neill Cruz. Another good card to sell. We got the Marquee, where you had CHC, Wanda Franco. And we got a Mini. A mini, uh, and it's a what is it? Alan Ginter back of Derek Jeter. Alan Ginter back, and we got a Wonder Franco, Alan and Ginter rookie. Nice hits there. Good. 
another great stack here. And all these cards I bought are one. Here's another. This is Spectra. I've never seen this before. Uh, until pretty sure that Spectra. Anyway, uh, it's a Wonder Franco rookie. So that's what three Wonder Francos. Then we got um, Banner Season. I love these cards. I don't even remember them, but Alan and Ginter, Dave Stewart. I love these cards. I might try to collect those. All this is for Landon Matthew when he grows up. Got a Julio Rodriguez out of Chronicles, one of the best Julio Rodriguez's you could have. Rookie out of Chronicles is any favorite player. Is Good to have it out of Chronicles. Uh, we got Spencer Torkelson. Now the Luminance. Spencer Tork Torkelson. Tor -tor 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 -tor. And we got Max Scherzer. Revolution. Nice hits here. Um, we got O'Neill Cruz. Season ticket optic. That's a really sharp card there. I don't know, but I might have that. I might get that slab. I'm gonna take about three cards and see if I can put them in with somebody's and get them slabbed and then turn around and sell them or something or keep them. But that's a nice looking. Uh, it looks like left to right. It might be good. I'm not sure. I'm gonna buy one of those kits for twelve dollars. You put it on there. And stuff that you can tell how good the left to right is, top to bottom. But that's a shark looking card. Looks like it's got a little scan thing on it. On the side there. See it right there? I don't know what that is. Then we got a Crusade. This is a good one. It wasn't sleeved. But Top loaded, but I top loaded it. It's a good hit, too. It's a rookie of Jaron Duran. I like the Crusade. Titan. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Like a black and white. And we got Reed Detmer's Revolution. Not rookie. It's another good one from last year. A real good card. And I think I've seen these. I'll go ahead and show them. Let's see. I'm going to show you these too. Real quick. Before we get out of here. There's a short print. Or a card of many. Here's a short print of uh, Vartex. Jason Vartex. Alan and Ginter. Here's a Lewis Robert. Shout out to Epiphany Card Collectors. Y'all go check out Epiphany Card Collectors. He's got a great channel. Always giving, giving, and giving, man. Here's the Watergate hearings begin. Flashbacks. Here is Aaron Judge. Heritage. And here is uh, Mookie Betts. I didn't have no more top loaders. Look how warped that card is. Mookie Betts. I got some at home, but I'm going to have to order some more. Mookie Betts Crusade. I might switch one out. Maybe it's Cabron Hayes. Switch out the top loader. Here's a Seth Beer. Rookie. But all those are rugged cards. I might switch one out for that one. Get in a top loader so it'll straighten it out. All these are nice cards. They're all for sale except for a couple that I'm keeping. So anybody sees any they want to buy, let me know. Because I will be selling them all, intertwining them in the packs that I'll be selling. Um, I'm sure y'all seen these, but I'll show them again. Here's Brian, Brian Hayes, Claire. Hong Sing Kim. 
Well, I really like this one. Juan Soto, the postcard. Luis Angela Coonan, uh, rated prospect. And Akil Badu, donuts. Yeah, I showed that one last Monday or Tuesday, I think. Tuesday. Alright, this is Trucker Tim. God loves you, so do I. Y'all have a blessed night. Uh, look, keep your heads up. This world's becoming hard to live in right now. Everything's going up. Our money's going down or staying the same or going down. The rates are down on our loads. Something that, like this load here, I'm getting paid what, 1700 to the truck going from almost 800 miles from Lewistown, Pennsylvania to Macon, Georgia. It should be 2000 That's how much the rates are down. And I get 25% after of what the truck makes. And that's after a trailer, take out of $50, 13% something else, and then I get 25%. So when the rates go down, toward the truck it hurts me my paycheck because I don't get that 20 extra dollar or two for the 25 percent so I don't know what we're gonna do but the rates got to go up the guys the guy on the YouTube I watched just truck and check his channel out if you want to uh, he went to driving his personal vehicle doing uber He's not getting his nice truck out there for low rates and running them and hurting his truck, his investment, you know. If he gets a load, he'll be by the house. He can stop doing the Uber and uh, go to trucking on a load, so. All right, plus some of these cars are going to go on eBay. I like to sell some of them. I got some uh, in there also. I got some, a couple, two or three Bobby Witt Juniors. So I want to get some slabbed. See if I can get a 10 back. God loves you, so do I. Y'all have a blessed night and answer the question What is one of God's mercies that you are grateful for today? All right? Whoop, whoop. Have a wonderful night. And this is a verse in two packs. Peace.